Hey, it's me, Tech. This is my blind playthrough of Oxenfree, which is a supernatural story-rich mystery. Themes include hanging out with your friends at a beach and absolutely nothing going wrong. But other than that, I hope you enjoy the show. So... No, 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 we are not. We are not gonna go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, Well, so I mean, Jonas kind of does have a point here. Like, do you know there's a boat, or is this like when you knew the teachers kept liquor in the lounge? <laughs> Come on. I was like 13 when I thought they all got drunk at lunch. This is a real thing. There's a boat at her dock. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Okay, Ren, just take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a... he's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. The stories I heard about this guy, he's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are we even talking about? You have no idea if there's a boat down there still. Okay, you're arguing 15 things at once now. Do the plan, trust Jonas, leave Ren, like, pick a target, or better yet, just don't. Yeah. Look. I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. There what is, is a boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Ugh, stop it! Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Jonas, let's go. Ah. <sighs> Thank you. What? You've got to be... This is... Are you... You're... No. This isn't hap... This isn't happening. Him? Him. Him? Ren, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, we're still... We're still doing your whole plan you came up with. Who cares if you're on the home or the away team? I want to be on the Alex team. I want to feel like... Like... I want to be like... Needed. Just... Just... Fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. Okay. Got it. We're off. I... Okay, so... I... Jonas, I actually really like. Even if he has, like, a sketchy-as-fuck background. Rain is a shit. He's a fucking talkative shit, and he, he doesn't express his real emotions, and he hides things from people, he hides behind his drugs. He is a shit, and I don't like him. Okay? That's okay. We're, we're doing a little bit of acceptance here, okay? And we're not gonna fucking scream at him for being a shit. No, we're just we're gonna take the level-headed, like, kleptomaniac who, who locks picks, and we'll just move on with our fucking lives. Jesus Christ. Rin is starting shit he can't finish. Oxen for it. 
Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off-base. Well, if you're going to say you're sorry, I guess the floor is yours. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't mean it to get that far. Look, I, and I just want to clear the air too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But you might have heard that I uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. And this is the truth. You beat up a guy. Just, my mom got sick, and then she got real sick, and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw- Timmy Finster. It's a fucking piece of shit. He kicked my mom. There's nothing to turn down the music. The music is overtaking. Thank God there's subtitles. A baseball in my head, and yes, he was joking, but... I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds. You lost control, Jonas. It happens. We... We break sometimes. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Are you... are you okay? It's not like I'm sick or whatever, I'm fine. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex, but I'm trying to be, and that's really about all I can say. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy. Okay? Say it. I'm a good guy. Okay, alright. I'm a good guy. Let's just move on. Yeah. Self-acceptance. Okay. As I, my ears are obliterated by music, it is time to... Go... Down. This way. Fort Miller. Yeah, no, no Fort Miller for us, thank you. Oh, sorry. I see. is this century, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was okay. installed here in 1970. Find all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kenaloa, the fort's spirit will always be that of the watchful sentry. Steady, protective, and ever vigilant of enemies, both foreign and domestic. This yeah, that's terrifying. The meme of being a protective sentry, forcing them to carry on in that respect, it's rough. Rocks. Hold on. The island is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. Nice. Uh, what the fuck? Decoded attack. The shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. 
This early version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. Okay. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath. You know, actually, last night I should have taken that hangman test where it was all fresh in my mind. Very unfortunate that I just, like, come back to, uh, like, the game and it's like, haha! You've literally passed out and woken up and forgotten 90% of what happened. Test time. I'm sort of reeling from that idea right now. I also really, really like Clarissa, even if she has the exterior of being a fucking bitch. Uh, but that's neither here nor there, good friend. No, that's a radio-operated gate. I'm just trying to fuck with the gate. I don't know why it won't let me operate it, Adley. Doobie-doo-doo-doobie-doo-doo. Red, red tree? No? Okay. What's up? Hi, Asher. Doobie 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 doo. Like, 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 can we investigate this house? No? Okay. Oh, that's terrifying. Correct, Asher. Uh, we have a schedule. It's on the Twitter or on the Discord. I can't, like, there's no way to post, like, community stuff inside of Twitch. Hashtag Twitch, please fucking allow me to post, like, community announcements here. You fucking dick. Um, but there's, a, there's an official schedule. Like, is an image, so you can see when and where I'll be. Data Command Annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave-assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. Yeah, this I data Secret call signs. 
Thank you for the hydrogen cryptids. So something that I'm picking up on pretty fast uh, is... What the fuck? Yeah, something I'm picking up on pretty fast is when the radio is out, you could sort of see when the radio is interacting with stuff. Um, and when it's red, that means it's a secret. Kind of. When it was blue, it was interacting with the lock, but obviously I don't know the frequency or call sign of that person to unlock it, so... Also don't know what ending we're gonna get. Oh, this is Beacon Beach. Okay, I understand where we're going now. Is the game too loud, chat? Do you feel like it might be a little too loud? I feel like it, it's fucking ear blazing for me. Yeah, bent. Okay. I turned it down to half. I don't know if that turns it down for stream, because a little awkward, but hold on. If the game is now suddenly too fucking quiet, please tell me. Yeah, I remember this. Fuck, I have to walk all the way back. I'm sad. I just want secrets, chat. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. I was also hoping I could find some of the rocks I missed. I might have just missed them just straight up in the woods. And I'd have to go fucking scour the woods, which is not something I'm interested in doing, technically. Whee! So, you know, without Rin fucking talking his gourd to death, um... Welcome to uh, fucking uh, Scary Stories Are Us, you know, where we talk about how I, I know that the, the fucking the summary so far is just ghosts, but um, I really I want to feel like the radio shit isn't just like the same technology that is mentioned in like e an EMF reader. I want it to be more of less the uh, like no. It's got more parallel reality shit and like ghosts sort of tacked on top of it. Right? And then there's this entire sub story that we don't fucking know anything about it. That is like actually fucking me up. Um, the so the sub story is like this person who doesn't want to be found and how she writes like quotes about you know the 
if you know if you continue ahead search with a man with a dog and then like there is no dog stuff like that it's wild shit 